Welcome back, EC Pride Group. Uh, what we have today is the Smoky Mountain Knife Works box. Um, but first, I want to talk to you about uh, what's been going on, um, why I haven't been putting out very many videos and stuff. Um, there's been complications with my uh, fiance uh, is in the hospital and everything. Um, had my baby girl. Um, I am doing everything with her i've been uh you know every, every three hours we're doing feedings cleanings doing everything like that uh she is home um been home for uh almost a week now uh this is day five of her being home uh, basically primarily with me um because my fiance had to go back in uh for surgeries and and complications with the c-section and everything opening up so um i just wanted to let you guys know i thank you guys all for your prayers and best wishes and everything like that um i'm gonna try to get back into a routine um as as much as possible try to get some videos out there i got some reviews up old reviews um just i have to film and edit and everything like that I try to do a little bit more research on knife designs and um, companies and stuff like that and and give you a little bit more history on certain designs, certain uh, makers and uh, manufacturers uh, that are putting out these knives. Um, so it just takes me a little bit longer to do a review and I like to um, have a knife in my rotation for at least a month straight and use the knife um um very very well uh and to that effect i've got the o knife splint here in the titanium um i wish they would do a um model of the drever just because i've got large glove size hands and this is just a little bit too small, um, but it, it's broken in great. It's got the front flipping, the the um, flipper tab. It's got the front flipper. It's got, um, you know, Spidey flick it and everything like that. Uh, I can't with this angle and everything for, for the video, but uh, you can. It's got the f um, open hole fuller in here. Uh, not a deep carry but it's actually pretty nice um design for it uh so i i've been really liking that it's the titanium version s30 vn i i do believe yeah s30 vn steel steel s35 vn um steel on that great little edc um size frame lock all titanium um so i've been doing that and the the pen uh the gray uh the titanium uh o pen pro with the green laser and the light in it uh, i i put this in my breast pocket on my um uh on my shirt and at night when i go take my dog for a walk it it i turn it on and i can turn up the brightness and it's more than enough light for me to actually um to actually do um to walk and and um see everything in front of me and it's, it's a great way to do that uh, you can also take it apart and use it as a reading light or anything like that um so that's that's really great and this titanium is is a great uh addition for it but without further ado we do have um the smoky mountain knife works uh box um here's all my information on one of my stickers um prestige uh jewelry underscore lc is on my instagram um lions edc pride is my Facebook group, as well as uh, my website is linked down below um, the description on here, um, you know, in all my videos, as well as uh, 
discount codes for jewelry. There's 20% discount code uh, when you purchase a piece of jewelry on my website. Um, if you're having any issues, uh, send me an email either through the website or um, lions.edc at gmail.com. Um, I will uh, look into it and see what's going on um, with that. Um, knives, there is 10% off uh, website knife and everything like that. I did a knife sale. I think I've taken them down They've on the website that sold. Uh, I'm going to do another knife sale just because of the added expense with uh, the surgeries and, and everything. So I'm going to really thin out my collection of, of knives. Um, a lot of them are all brand new. Uh, knives and, and Olight flashlights and a few other things uh, that I get together. But there'll be a video about that. So enough with the housekeeping and, and letting you guys know what's going on. We'll, we'll get into the general's box for November um, 2021. Um, this is the smallest box that I have gotten size-wise um, from Smoky Mountain Knife Works since I started in January. Um, so we'll see what we have in here. And again, uh, we're going to use the splint uh, O knife made by Kaiser. So we're going to get into this and see what we have in November's box for the Smoky Mountain Knife Works box. So this is the $199 uh, knife box. And let me just grab my paperwork out. And, um, uh, this is the five star generals box. So we have our confidential paperwork, which we'll set right here. I'm not going to really look at it. I'll give you a quick overview. So there's, uh, there is the GI box, which is twenty nine ninety nine plus shipping and tax. And then there's the Officer's Club box, which is um, uh, which is $99 plus uh, no shipping, just tax. And then there's the um, General's box, which is the um, $199. Uh, so we'll go ahead and give you a quick peek and then we'll go through the general box so there's a quick peek of everything that's in there so we will go ahead and start getting the um, stuff out for the general box so we got a regular SMKW uh, Sasquatch sticker and let's get the candy out here. See if there's any other um, stickers in here, other than just the one, the one stick, the one sticker, I guess. No, well, I guess it's just the one sticker. Just the one sticker, all right. All right, that's all All she wrote for the candy. So they must have gotten, given away a lot of candy for that, for October. So, we'll go ahead and I'll set this off to the side right here. And we'll look at the first uh, item. The first item is a browning wood liner lock. That's in the GI box, so features a stainless steel drop point blade with a satin finish. It's a manual opener with a thumb stud. This liner lock has wood handles with a lanyard hole, tip down pocket clip um, only. It's four inches closed. All right, Smoky Mountain Knife Works price is $14.99. 
So I guess this would be the browning. It's the only browning in the thing. So let's open this up and see what the knife looks like. Wood liner lock. This is an awfully big... Oh, I guess it's like a gift tin. So they're getting into the gifting season. So, it's a tin. Oh, okay. So, we will see what the action is like. Looks like it's pretty, pretty decent. Oh, I thought there was a chip out of the blade already. No, it's just, there's just stuff on it from being in the thing. So that's your browning. Minimal billboarding. Uh, that clip is interesting. So... Like I said, minimal billboarding. Um, it is China, model 0309. So, it works. So, we'll put that back in here. It's interesting. that back in here the way it was set that in there so that was the first thing next is marbles imitation tortoise shell lady leg all the knives in the marbles imitation tortoise shell series feature four to 440a stainless steel blades with a polished finish and match strike poles. The handles are imitation tortoise with brass pins and liners and a nickel silver ring bolsters. Um, this lady leg knife features a 2 inch clip point blade and is 3.25 inches closed and weighs 1.44 ounces. Smoky Mountain Knife Works price is six ninety nine, so that's right here. So they're giving us so that's a marbles imitation tortoise. So let's see what this looks like. Yep. So, there's your lady leg. So that's interesting. No real pop on the back spring either. So it almost seems like it's overbladed or something. Um, but it is a seven dollar little little seven dollar novelty knife, really. Huge billboarding though. On the blade. I don't like when they billboard like that so much. But that's your little marbles lady leg. Alright. Three more things in the GI box. Next is a Smith & Wesson M&P Bodyguard. Features a 2.75 inch 8CR13 MOV high carbon stainless steel drop point blade with a black oxide coating finish. It's a manual blade flipper 
with some studs. This liner lock has a black glass filled textured nylon handle with a tip down pocket clip. It's 3.75 inches close, 6.5 inches overall, and weighs 2.54 inch ounces. Uh, Smoky Mountain Knife Works price $9.99. It's a Smith & Wesson. That's just what it is. Their quality has down, gone downhill. I have had a uh, Smith & Wesson. I want to say it was a night guard. And it was a push button automatic. I, I misplaced a knife or lost a knife years ago. That was the best Smith & Wesson um, knife um, out there that I ever handled. Um, and if I could ever find another night guard, um, Smith and Wesson, it's an automatic push button, uh, street sentinel, street sentinel night guard. Uh, if I could ever find another one of those, um, I, I it, it was on par with Protex, um, to be honest. And it was a push button automatic, um, knife and I don't know where their quality went after that but um, I'm I've had I was I have had that knife since I was in college so 2008 to 2010 I probably bought that knife but anymore their MMP Smith and Wesson line has just dropped off the freaking um everything um and I want to say that was a $80 automatic when I bought it back in 2008 to 2010 somewhere in there um so yeah I mean I, I've not liked the Smith and Wesson knives um that I've handled since since that one all right next up is the Canyon Spanish toothpick well that would have to be this one just a no name box um so the Canon Spanish toothpick features a 4.125 inch stainless steel polished finished blade. The handles are black taca wood with grooved nickel silver bolsters. And stainless steel liners. It's 4.875 inches closed. 9 inches overall. And weighs 2 ounces. Smoky Mountain Knife Works price is $5.99. Well, I'll tell you on this. Um, no pocket clip. It is. There's no half stop. Well, maybe there's a little bit of a half stop. But it's a break. It breaks straight through the half stop. It should stop right there, but it, it really stops right there. And then you push it the rest of the way home. So, breaks and then breaks all the way. Um, Some people like these. I mean, it's comfortable. Um, you know, that's just aesthetics um pocket woods nice um smoky mountain knife works price is 5.99 that's not bad uh for for this type of thing um i mean i've never heard of canyon spanish toothpick i've never heard of canyon stuff um so it is what it is um so we'll go through that and everything uh, I'll look into that, but, but my Samuel flippers are better steel, um, better build quality. They're flippers, and they have a lock, and they have a clip, so I can put them in my pocket and come out in my pocket, no problem. This would still come out of my pocket, no problem, but there is, it's, it's a little... Oh, I can feel that blade. Yep. I get my finger on there. I can feel that blade in there. 
So I I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but I can I can feel that blade coming right up through that. It's closed off up until a certain point, and then it opens up, and then I can feel that blade right there. It's a little sharp on the end. So it goes in there, but it's it's still open. So I'm not gonna force it. If I really push down on it, it it would cut me. I know. So last thing is a benchmark quick liner lock. Okay, benchmark. We saw a benchmark in the last thing, and then I ended up giving it giving it away for my hundred subscriber giveaway stuff. But this is a quick liner lock. Features a 3.125 inch stainless steel drop point blade with a satin finish. It's a manual flipper. This liner lock has black G10 handles with a tip up pocket clip and a lanyard hole. It's 4.5 inches closed, 7.625 inches overall and weighs 4.8 ounces. Smoky Mountain Knife Works price is $9.99. Oh, come on. You gotta really light switch it. You gotta really get on this flipper to get it to really go. And maybe it just needs some breakout, breakdown time. No, you need to really do it. You gotta light switch it, not push button it. Push button it. It's just going to fail every time. Light switch it. You can get it to, to lock in there. It is... Just a stainless steel. It says... Yeah, just a stainless steel. Stainless china. Okay. I mean, texture G10 is alright. It's got a different sweeping um, pocket clip. It's very minimal pocket clip in and the knife. Um, it's got a lanyard hole. Um, it is tip up, which is nice. Um, I mean, it's a good, good $10 knife. That's not bad for $10. It doesn't have a very much of an edge on it, though. That doesn't have that much of an edge. Nope. It won't even. It won't even take any of my skin off my dead skin. So, eh, ten dollars. Learn how to sharpen. Type of knife, tackle box, and tackle box knife. Um, that's just what it is. So, that is your General's box, um, or the GI box for Smoky Mountain Knife Works, uh, November package. So, we have the Browning, the Marbles Lady Leg, we have Smith & Wesson Body, um, Bodyguard, uh, we have this Canyon's toothpick knife, and then we have the Benchmark um, Quick Liner Lock. So, uh, next up is the Officer's Club at $99. So, we'll go ahead and get into that right here. And we're back. So, now we have the Officer's Club box, and we have um, two items in this box. The first one is a Gerber Suspension Next NXT um, Multi-Tool, boasting an increased tool count. Here's the box. Um, boasting a tool count of 15 in a smart everyday pocket carry uh, package. The Gerber Suspension Next Multi-Tool is equipped with a pocket clip and is easily carried in a pocket. All right. Well, Gerber hasn't been great in my book for multi-tools in quite some time. 
but maybe this will change my mind. Uh, Smoky Mountain Knife Works price is $35.99. A lot of billboarding. A lot of oil. What did you do? They are spring players. So that's good. They are folding. So... The one thing that I do not like that I really like about Leatherman's is that they give you a changeable um, cutter. These go dull. You can't sharpen them really, hardly at all, because there's not enough area for, to sharpen those um, to get into. Um, and with a Leatherman, they give you um, where you can take that that off and there's a little screw in the side and you take that off and you can either sharpen it to get it sharper for, for cutting or you can just replace it. So we'll go through and we'll see what all this has on there. It does go compact. Um, let's see. So it looks like these lock... So yeah, they, they lock. Each one of them locks. That's good. That's a good lock. So we got a Phillips head screwdriver. Pull this down. And that folds down. And then, let's see. We have the file and a flathead. So that's good. And then, let's see, what else? And then there's one more thing in here. It's hard to get into that middle middle one. But I guess that's a little flat, flat knife in the middle. And they have these little ridges that you can pull up if you have th fing thumbnails. You know, I don't have any fingernails, so... But they're all on the outside. So that's essentially one, two, three, four tools. Um, five, six would be the pliers and uh, the cutter. And then there's a knife with serrations, if you can call them that. Next is... A larger, I guess that would be a pry bar. I guess that would be a pry bar. And I guess a thing. I don't know. I don't really tell you all the tools. Just 15 tools um, on the box. So there's that. And it looks like it has a small screwdriver, a uh, package opener, a bottle opener, and a can opener. Okay, a can opener and a bottle opener. So you have your can opener, bottle opener. Interesting. And then, oh, now this is cool. This you don't see very often. So you have little scissors. Let me put these back down. So you have lockout locking scissors. Now that's cool. That's nice. I like seeing that. Little snip, snip, snip steers. Let's see. No, oh, they work. Look at that. They actually do pretty good. So then you can fold them back down, unlock it, and put it back down. That 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 makes it nice. Not a lot of tools have scissors on them. Um this is called the Suspension Next. Mm -hmm. The Suspension Next. Yeah, it's interesting. 
neat, interesting. Um, $35.99. I could see that's a good price. Um, it's about the size of maybe a Leatherman Wave. Um, in between probably a squirt and a wave, I would say. It's probably size-wise. Um, I'll do a follow-up comparison video with some of my Leatherman tools um, down the line. Um, and everything, if you guys want to see that, just you know, throw me a comment down in the thing. I'll get some of my other Leathermans out and, and uh, do it up. So, you have that in the the start of that box so you have the Gerber tool um, next one in the officers club is the case dark red bone copperhead Case Dark Red Bones series features a mirror polish, true sharp surgical stainless steel with nail nicks. The handles are deep red jigged bone with brass pins and liners the and nickel silver bolsters and a shield. This Case Dark Red Bone Copperhead features a clip point and pen blade. It's 3.875 inches closed and weighs 3.8 ounces. Smoky Mountain Knife Works price is $59.99. So we'll go ahead and and uh, get into this. Case number is 124853. So number 1073. So, right there it is. So, go ahead and uh, set this up and see what it's like. I actually saw um, these getting done um, I saw a bunch of these uh, getting done at the case factory because I work up there I didn't work on these but This isn't the model that I work on, but they're nice. They're nice blade. The Copperhead series are nice. Um, I like the the flag shield. So everything looks like it's pretty pretty well done. Fit and finish on them is good. Just looking at it under the light a little bit better. Yeah. Whoever owned this one was good at, at figuring it out. And doing it. I'm getting trained by a guy that has uh, been there for 16 years. And in the same department. Um, hefting and honing um, the knives to make them look beautiful and, and perfect. So uh, he's a wealth of knowledge and, and everything else. So I... Uh, I enjoy going to work, um, but I've had to put that on the back burner a little bit because of um, family, family things. So, so I got 
got some more case stuff in there, so I got the warranty card in there and stuff. So we'll just set the knife and everything back on top of that warranty card and set that in there. So there is your officer's club. And uh, that is that. And let let me get the last last thing in the general's box. Now the general's box is one ninety nine, so you'd get everything on the table here. Plus this this last knife, which is a ZT. Zero tolerance. So it's a ZT three fifty. Um features a 3.25 inch CPM S30V drop point recurve blade with a black tungsten DLC coating. It is an assisted flipper with a with the speed safe technology flipper and ambidextrous thumb studs. This liner lock has black textured G10 handles with a four position pocket clip and a lanyard hole. It's 4.9 inches closed, 8.4 <coughs> four inches overall, and weighs 6.2 ounces. Smoking Mountain Knife Works price is $168. So the value is there for the box. Um, more than there. Um, you know, I'll have to check around prices on, on these and see if that's the, the cheapest price. Because the other ZT um, that they had in the, in the previous box, I think back in um, July, um, they had like $150 on it. I found it on Amazon for the same exact knife for like $120. So it's give or take, you know, just how it is. It is a little one. But... Still hits like a ZT hits. And that's just what it is. Yeah, I wouldn't do tip tip uh, uh tip down pocket clip. That's gonna get changed, but um or I'll just sell it because I just don't like the assisted knives. It's a Ken Onion designed S thirty V steel knife. It's it's got a lot to it. It is a nice looking knife. Um, I just don't like um, the assistance. I mean, there's people out there that have to have an assisted knife just because they can't. Um, they can't um, actuate things. I don't. I can't even get my finger down in there to get that thumb stud. It's so small with my huge hands. <coughs> Just doesn't want to do. So, it is what it is. It's a neat looking knife. G10 backspacer and everything. G10 handles. DLC coated. Huh. I mean... It fits nice in the hand. It's just a little small for me. I mean, I can get all my fingers on there, but I'm choking right up. I mean, they're right together. Um, there is no choke up possible because there's no choil here to... I mean, there's a choil, but it's, it's sharp right there. So, can't choke up on here. You have to be right here. And when I get full purchase on it, I'm right at the very end in this, this nub. Is going right into my my finger right there. Not as comfortable as possible, but it's still usable like that. Um, yeah, I, I want I, I want a ZT that is not assisted, and I'm not gonna go out and buy one um, that's not assisted just to try it out. I mean, if I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna. I'm going to buy a hinderer, to be honest. Um, I'm going to actually buy 
uh, an actual hinderer if I'm going to do that. So that's that's Smoky Mountain Knife Works pri uh, box for November. <coughs> so you definitely got the value. Um, I mean, you basically have another hundred dollars worth of knives for the two hundred dollar price tag, the one ninety nine uh, price tag. So I mean. That's just what it is. I mean, it's good. I mean, this was a good month. Um, let's see. I like this. That would be a good uh, gift knife. Um, again, this is a novelty knife. This is usable, but really a novelty. This is a beater, um, beater knife really what it is this is a a little bit better than a gas station knife but it re really is a gas station knife um beater knife gas station knife it, it's just toolbox knife fishing box knife that's what it is uh use it until this blade is completely dull and and beat up and then you throw it away i mean that's just what these are um this one sharpen it learn how to sharpen and carry and and use because that's that's good um then you get into these knives and um gerber we'll see if gerber um is any better um to to the leathermans i've been really liking the leathermans um you know my current Leatherman is is uh, OTF, um, which is out the front. You know everything's on the side of it. Um, this is a case good good case knife. Um, I like what they're doing. Um, they're getting a little bit better um, materials in now, um, and everything. Uh, the shutdown put put us behind. Um, because you know everybody else shut down and we essentially had to shut down or case had to shut down just because you know everybody else all the other suppliers and everything shut shut down as well so we're we're coming back and we're trying to get everything situated and come back strong this personal preference i just don't like assistance see right there i failed it because i got huge thumbs and it's an assisted knife with thumb studs but these are really just blade stops to be honest They're, that's all they are is blade stops i mean it's got a heck of a razor sharp edge on it it's got a nice mirror polish edge on both sides of it um it's just not something, I mean, I just don't like the assistance. I don't know what it is with ZT and their speed safe technology. They got to put it in every freaking knife. Um, I guess they're just worried that their knives freaking are never going to deploy or something. I have no idea. I'll have to look into them if I ever do a review uh, of any of their knives. But a lot of times I just put these up for sale. Um, to be honest, whenever I get these knives in, um, so a, a lot of times, um, that's just what I do. Again, I, I appreciate everybody, um, and going through and, and seeing everything in this, in this, uh, box, uh, with me, um, again, a uh, huge shout out to, to everybody that's uh, on Instagram and uh, sending prayers for my family and everything. I mean, it, it helps out immensely with emotions um, during these trying times and everything. Uh, my fiance uh, is going through a round of surgeries. Um currently because of the issues with the 
c-section and everything uh you know internally it 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 ruptured and uh she got an infection so you know we got the baby out of i out of the nick nicu and and mom goes back into the nicu um or well into the icu so uh it's just rough right now um with everything but I I wanted to let you guys know what was going on. I wanted to get this box out for you guys and and let you see what it what it was uh, for November um, for the general's box. Again, good gift, another giftable knife. Um, good gift, um, gift again, uh, and a gift. Uh, and you know, high end knife person gift. Yeah. They wanted to try a ZT. This would be a good one um, to uh, to gift them um, and just go from there. So I appreciate you, everybody, Lions EDC Pride Group, everybody on Instagram and my Facebook group. Um, hit me up, join my Facebook group. Hit me up on Instagram. Follow me there. We'll uh, get through everything together. I'm going to try to do um, lives Friday, if not every Friday at 6 p.m. Uh, Eastern. Um, it'll be every other. Um, and just go from there. Um, so, I appreciate you. Have a good night, EDC Pride Group. Bye.